it, it gets to be a huge tree. Um, but it's got it's gonna gonna have a spinning top shaped leaf. Um, it's gonna have an accumulate tip. It's alternate, simple. Also, it's kind of like a fat teardrop too. It's gonna have milky sap, which another good idea character is it's gonna have this, these seed pods that burst open and have little white remnants in it, and it looks like popcorn. A young species, but it's gonna have dark green foliage, a long thin petiole, which if you get this confused with the poplars, which we'll talk about another poplar today, the poplars have flattened petioles. Um, so say again, so poplars have flattened, but this is, has... This has a long, thin, round, more rounded petiole. Okay, and oh, on the poplars, the petiole won't be as long from the... I don't think that. so, no. Okay. And it won't be, it will be flattened. On the this is honey mesquite. Grow, cross, cross, opus, prosopis, <laughs> glandulosa, prosopis, however you want to say it. So, good ID characteristic about this one is it has Y-shaped bipinnately compound leaves. On the new growth, which I don't know if there's any on this tree, the new growth is going to kind of have more of a chartreuse green color. And on the juvenile foliage, you're going to get thorns, which you can see at the base of the nodes, the thorns on them. You can feel them. Real soft texture, small linear leaflets. Rounded tip, it's alternate, bipinately compound into Y-shaped leaves is going to be your biggest ID characteristic on this one. China berry, large, can either be bipinately or pinately compound leaves, typically pinately compound. <laughs> It's similar to Colruteria, Colruteria, however you want to say it, but they're more glossy green, darker. This is where you're getting more into the bipinately compound, if y'all want to see right here. See it right here? Yeah. How it's bipinately compound. Um, it's going to have clusters of yellow fruit, which are poisonous. What? Should not be consumed. <laughs> yeah. It's going to have a very large leaf scar. You and your camera. Nice yellow fall color. Striations on the bark. Very fine texture, alternate. It's going to have typically three spines on each thorn. What about the what? There's a cultivar called a, a variation called Intermus, which doesn't have thorns. Right. So this, um, is, this is the straight up. Is this, the same thing? this is obviously the thorny one. Yes. Okay. Um, so it's alternate. Black uh, locust. Honey uh, common locust. honey locust. Uh, and it has three, what did you say about the thorn? See how it's got three protrusions? Oh, oh, okay. On the thorn? Three thorns. Thornlet. Three thornlet. Huge thorns of three, all on the trunk, all on the trunk, all on the stems. Um, it's going to have bipinately compound leaves. Or sometimes by, sometimes normal pinately. 
small, linear, rounded, rounded tips. The trunk is going to be a gray color. The newer growth is a brown color. It looks really mean. You're not going to have any other plant that's got thorns like this on it. So for this the is Parkinsonia cuculiata. Looks like catalpa. Looks like every other tree. It looks like oh. catalpa. Yeah, it's got those little bean pods on them. Yeah, those are, those are no, catalpa have big catalpa leaves. Catalpa has huge leaves. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or that. Well, yeah, <laughs> but I'm just... And the bead pods on catalpa aren't going to be like the little notches, like little pearls. We just take what you say and do the opposite. Yeah. Right? They're long and know. skinny and straight. Yeah. These are your trash trees, guys. I'm not having a good day. Just don't listen to this. Okay. So... Bean pod like fruit. It's gonna be bipinnately compound. The leaflets are gonna be the tiniest little leaves that you'll ever see. Real little. The leaflets. Those are legit. Yes. Oh gosh. Do you need another picture? So, so yeah, stained. is there a term for this kind of leaf? Just by Not that I know of. Um, no, I guess that would be funny. Oh. It's tristis. It looks like it's sad. It's weeping. It's a good way to remember the name. Weeping willow. So, compared to the Salix nigra, we'll talk about in a little bit, then I have more airier look. The branches, stems will be more whip-like, longer, extended. Also has more of a rounded habit. And I'll bring it with me. What do you mean by airy? The texture of it. It's yeah. just light. Oh, light. Not as okay. dense. Yeah. Um, the stems are going to be more of a uh, yellow color to it. And the back of the leaves are going to have a silver back. It's going to have darker green foliage that's more of like a more of a gray, gray blue green. It is bipinnately compound. The leaves when touched will fold upwards. Sensitive. <laughs> It's going to have horizontal habit to the branches. It's going to have a flattened seed pod. It's got an insect on it. Flattened seed pods. <laughs> it does have in the spring and summer, it will have powder puff like pink flowers that are. Pepto bismol in color, but very showy. But it's even more of a, a almost white in color to it. It is going to have kind of reddish to the petioles, but the red maple will be much more deeper in red. These are going to have more of a dissected lobe. A little I mean, bit more cannabis. Uh huh. A little. Yeah. <coughs> um. I mean, definitely the leaf has a different shape to it. It's not quite as broader. It's more airy looking to the leaf. Um, it's going to have more of a doubly serrate margin than red maple. And it has kind of a rancid odor to the stem. You scratch and sniff. Leaflets, compared to what we've looked at today, are going to be kind of larger, broader, with the blue-green cast. It's going to have bean pods, small bean pod-like fruit. Big, biggest IV characteristic about this one is the 
thorns look like bat faces. Like what? Oh, yeah, a bat face. I don't know what a bat face looks like. Like Batman. Look at his ears and his oh, nose. Oh, you have to look at it head on. What? Yeah. It does look like a bat. Looks like a bat face. I don't, you, you I don't see it. Okay. You see it?